three DIY Christmas decoration projects that you can do at home, and I'll even tell you some of the mistakes that I made so you can avoid them. This is the PVC pipe Christmas tree around the mailbox. So not super complicated to figure out because you can see the video, but I think what I've got here is a 3 4 inch PVC pipe. It doesn't actually matter too much because it doesn't have to hold a whole bunch of weight. Basically, the PVC pipes are just a holding spot for the garland to wrap around. What I did was I got eight PVC pipes. I got 10 footers and then cut them to the height that I wanted. I didn't measure. We just leaned them up here, saw how tall we wanted it, and then cut it with a reciprocating saw. Super simple to cut this little PVC pipe. Then we fastened them all together at the top. We used duct tape, nothing fancy. We didn't go crazy. You could obviously use whatever you want just to make them stick together. On the bottom, we did put these little stakes, but they actually are not necessary. This one wasn't touching anything where I pulled it out because the PVC pipes are leaning up against here and then the garland was pushing on this way. So the bottom of the PVC pipe has actually got pressure from the garland into the ground, so it's not going anywhere. This took a thousand feet of garland. Yes, that was pretty expensive. This is the mistake that I made. I think you could go quite a bit lighter on the garland to make this project quite a bit cheaper if you were to fasten the garland to the PVC pipe. If you just picked one all the way down to fasten like a zip tie or something, to the uh, PVC pipe all the way down, you could probably get away with about half as much garland. I wanted to go super thick. We had to keep going back to Lowe's because as we were doing it super thick, we only got to here with our first batch and then we bought more and got to here. Had to go back one more time and get more for the bottom. So there's something you could do a little bit differently. If you're worried about your mail person, don't. My mailbox number is covered up just for the sake of this video. I'll take that piece of tape off after we're done. But I've had people commenting on TikTok where the video was originally posted and all the mail people love it. So I just ran an extension cord from the house. A lot of people were wondering if I installed an outlet box right here by the mailbox. I did not, just an extension cord. I hid it in the crack that goes between the uh, yard and the driveway. I'm pretty sure it was four strands of lights that I ran up here. Obviously, you can do as many as you want. This is a star from Lowe's. Uh, all of this stuff came from Lowe's, by the way. I'll put like a materials list in the description, but that little star came from Lowe's and we just stuck it in the top where all the PVC pipes meet. We just stuck the bottom down in between all the tops of the PVC pipes. But yeah, nothing too complicated. Let's move on to the candy canes. So here are the PVC pipe candy canes. This is four inch PVC pipe. Basically just, I got a long, a couple long sections uh, that were long enough so I knew I could do four foot long straight pieces. And then you've got a couple of elbows. I didn't like the proportion of just the elbows up here. So I went ahead and, and attached a little short section of PVC to this end to make it look a little more proportional as a candy cane. I had seen this done before. Somebody used duct tape. We actually bought red duct tape and we started trying that and it was a fail. That did not look good at all. So then we went with the ribbon, wrap ribbon all the way around. That is stuck with tape in the back so that you can't see it. The unique part about these, what I feel like my contribution to this creativity or creatively is in the back, I notched out the front one so that it would fit onto the back one. So they weren't like completely separated out here. Um, they fit a little bit together and then they're wired up so that they'll sit steady. So to cut that notch in the back, I drilled a hole with a, as big a bit as I had and then put my reciprocating saw in there and cut down the length basically just matching the shape of where the PVC or where the uh, candy cane was behind it. That'll make a lot more sense when you see it on the video. So this one, the thing that I might do different if I was doing it all over again is I would have found a thinner wall PVC. This one's pretty thick. This is all they had at Lowe's that was four inch. But if I did a thin wall PVC, it might be thin enough that you could put a strand of lights up through here and maybe even put caps on the ends, turn the lights on and they might glow at night. I thought that'd be pretty cool. I thought about putting lights on the outside in white and red. I thought that might look a little bit busy during the day and might ruin the appearance uh, when it's light outside. So I guess you can do whatever you want with that. So we just used wire that's used for like hanging pictures um, to wire them together in the middle and that's what's hidden by this ribbon that goes around the back. That's also the same thing we use to attach them to this wood beam here. They're, they're not glued together or fastened other than just that wire, but that notch that I cut in the back is what makes it stay stable on there to where as long as they're held tight together with the wire, it won't twist or move this direction because that notch is keeping it fitted to the back one. All right, so this one, you're gonna get to see the actual building process because as you can see, there's nothing here yet. But the concept is we're gonna take these two top pole for the fencing, it's metal poles, whatever. They actually fit together though, so that is important. The, uh, what do they call it, top rod, top something? Anyway, the pole that goes across the top of a fence, like a chain link fence, see it has a fitting. So this one will fit into this one. Two 10 foot sections, it's gonna be a 20 foot tall tree. I've got 33 foot light strands. They're rope lights, which is a very big distinction from 
tape lights because tape lights only show on one side, rope lights, the lights will show all the way around. You've seen a light tree before, but this is a light tree with a twist. We're gonna put the 20 foot pole up, have strings coming down, it's 10 strings coming down from the top, and then lights fastened where each of those strings are staked into the ground. That's where the twist comes in. Well, you'll see in a minute. Okay, so <laughs> we hit a little snag. We got to the very top and then we're wrapping each of the light strands around one of the strings so they stay in place so that we can evenly space them to spiral around the tree. I wasn't anticipating that being a problem. But when we got to the very top, we didn't realize that the holes were getting higher and higher where we had to wrap the lights around the strings. We've been having to get on the ladder, use a golf ball like retriever tool and try to like throw it up through there. And anyway, it's taking way longer than we thought camera guy has to go home, so I'm leaving you with that and we're going to skip straight to the results right now. Whew. 